um, this specific event uh, might not be as known as, as a golden demon, but it is very much the high-end part of competition painting. The hardest competition that I have ever attended, and that's the Monte San Savino show in Italy. The hardest test for this paint is to go to this event with these people and get their approval. If some of the best painters in the world uh, with no stake in the game would praise this paint, that would be what I hope for. That's like a, the best stamp of approval that I can imagine. The Monte San Savino show is the hardest painting competition as far as I know. And that's why we wanted to uh, bring our War Paints Fanatic uh, to that show and let uh, some of the world's best painters have a go at it and uh, see if it really holds up to uh, the, the very high standard and demand that these people create from their, their paints. And I do hope that I get to, to bring home a medal or two. Every year, the Danish crowd rents the same little townhouse in the middle of this little beautiful town in Italy where the show is, is held. And this year, we um, invited as many painters as we could possibly fit into our little house and we asked them their honest opinion about the paint. My name is uh, Torben Rude Pedersen. Jared Clifford Fettmelder. Kevin Collier. Mm. Richard Sharp. Martin Collier, UK. And he sucks. I'm Jonas Sturluson. I'm Ben Curry. It's Eric Stolian. Magnus Folgeberg. Thibaut Ran. Conrad from England. Uh, my name's Mark. Hey, um, I'm Maren. I'm Roman. And I'm from Germany. I then explained the idea behind the Warpaints Fanatic to the painters and just let them edit. The most important thing for us was the coverage. Mm. Yeah, that's already a noticeable thing. Yeah. Yeah. I watered it down on purpose to see doing a just pure black one. And it's, yeah. and it's still covering. And it's going on smooth as well. Like you're mm. saying, there's high pigment. Like exactly. there's no separation. There's no, um, like when you um, squeeze it out, you get a Pile of retarder and then you get your paint. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which is quite nice. I actually really do like the fact that the dry time is. So yeah, you can get like some crazy time to just really just play blast with it. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Richard, you fast. <laughs> That's what my life's so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is fits my kind of groove the the way I paint. Yeah. yeah. It's just I can play with I can play with the opacity. Yeah. That is brilliant if I can do that. Yeah, really, really good. Um, very different to what army paint paints have been yeah. in the past. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. But yeah, these paints are really good. Yeah, that's really good. And it doesn't take much for their yeah, coverage. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the good, like, key thing about it. This was fun. I'm glad you like it. It sounds like you enjoyed painting with these paints. Yeah, they're very good. I do. Yeah, they're yeah. Even fat. They're tolerably decent. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the best. That's like a good that's compliment. A compliment. That's yeah. a good compliment. They're, they're oh, not really completely easy. shit. So, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we should put that on the bottle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> approved by fat. They're yeah. not completely fat shit. That <laughs> Milner says. <laughs> They are not, They're not completely, completely shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Guess that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, just been a fun. That's rubbish. You should enter a competition. <laughs> yeah. Do you know if there's one around? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I could. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for <coughs> uh, <coughs> trying. Yeah, that was fun. Proper paint hand. Don't leave me hanging. Paint for having us. That's the way it's supposed to be. I was a lit. 
a little nervous about actually getting some of these painters to participate in the demo. We were lucky enough to, to get very experienced painters trying this paint. Um, we got Magnus Fairbair, uh, the Collier brothers, Roman Lepat, Ben Curry, Jonas Sturrison, Thibault, Jarrett from Australia. Too many to mention all of them, but every painter that tried these paints were some of the people that I look up to. But as it turns out, everyone didn't want to stop painting when they first, first got going. Stay as long as you like. Ish. Ish. <laughs> good. Really good coverage. Yeah, yeah and, uh, the coverage is... Uh, and we're not at all paid to say this, right? Are we? <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry guys. <laughs> Just checking. Yeah, no. No, but I like the coverage. I mean, yeah. you go, yeah. I haven't, uh, this is not pre-shaded or anything. I mean, with white, but uh, really excellent coverage. My opinion is I really love them. I love that they blend uh, really well because they have the long uh, grind time. Grind time. Yeah. And uh, and they behave when you place it down. Yeah. You can also use it as a glaze. And yeah. but but the same color, you just go. If I want to block this, bam. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can say I enjoy these more than than my go-to Vallejo paints. Truly. Mm? Uh, I appreciate it. Like, yeah. No, I I like this. I, I actually. What's your feeling, Magnus? I really like them. I, I like the, the kind of creamy consistency of them. Yeah. Yeah. I think they behave super nice. I like the coverage when, when you, they're diluted as well. Yeah, that's what uh, Martin said as well. Like he liked when, how much he can dilute them and, and still get something yeah. to work with. And that you said it was quite yeah. easy to blend and they yeah. behave in a way that you would like them to behave. Unlike, unlike my kids. <laughs> yeah, I can. It reminds me a lot of AK, I think, but we have a longer drying time, which yeah. I appreciate. Yeah. Because it's still free enough so that you can be sharp. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's easier to refine it, yeah. even during sketching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, because I think that usually people that uh, uh, paints that are good to do wet blending, mm -hmm. you can be sharp with them because they're a bit thicker, you know, like the new Valley Rolls are, are nice, yeah. but these you can do both, actually. Yeah. 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 If you had to say something negative about it, what would it be? I, I've only worked with the, more, more or less the, the primary colors, yeah. so I can only speak about that. And I think they are really good. Okay. So I, I don't have any negative to say, actually. Okay. Eric? I think actually the only thing I have is the drying time. Yeah. It's actually when you well learn that. It's mm. not a problem. No. Yeah, but if you're a slow learner like Eric. Like this, <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Yeah, actually at the moment I'm just having fun playing around with your um, effect paint with a screamy orange. Screamy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think they're nice. It blends nicely. It dries to a good finish, I think. And. Um, They've been super fun to play around with. I <laughs> just appreciate you want to try them out. I mean, that was fun, yeah. That's cool. Fun experience. Yeah. The, the, the blood is really nice. Which one are you using? Yes. Both. <laughs> Both. Good man. Yes. But it's really good blood effect. Cool. Mm -hmm. Do you like the vomit then? <laughs> Do I like to vomit? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the vomit's, uh, uh, it's, it's interesting. Right? You what? I want the skin for, to take home. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't because that's what, that one is actually mine. Can I see? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> You're a machine. Yeah. So much fun, great paints, great company. Enjoyed it a lot. Thank you. So I want to kiss you, but I'll just talk to you instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is good. Obviously. Yeah, put it next to mattresses. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome work. We've had a, a reputation of being the entry level paint where you would switch to some other brand uh, down the line if you wanted to keep painting or develop your skills. That's what we want to, you know, break out from with, with this line of paint. We, we want to remove any reason for people to move on. 
We still want to be the, the most available paint in the world. We want to have a, a very good price. That's always been something from this uh, company. But now we just want to remove the excuse to move on to a different brand because you can use this for everything that you want. What about brush licking rules? Well, <laughs> just, well, I mean, do it. Please do what you like. If, but if you lick on the brushes, you will kiss a uh, yeah. Swedish guy because they did it as well. So, but you also don't judge um, technical aspects right now. It's just like having fun and training and, and, and just getting to know the colors. So it's yeah, like... Yeah, for, for the others. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You will be judged. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> With great painting comes great responsibility. Yeah. Picking yeah. it out on the black versus the checking out on the white. Yeah, yeah. Also like how they behave when, when it kind of um, pushed her around a little bit more painterly. Yeah, yeah. That's um, how they connect. Yeah. It's really nice. If you would have to point at something that you, well, didn't love about the paint, what would it be? Well, so far it's scoring pretty high. Um, mm. I don't know, I think it's, it's probably going to be more... It's not splitting, so it's not breaking up. Consistency's good. Also, are there any things that you don't want to hear on film or something? Or no, 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 okay. this is okay. you being honest with us. Because I know we're filming it, but... but um, we want your honest, honest opinion. So if there's anything you dislike about it, okay. we would like to know it because mm. you've been saying some really nice stuff about it. It doesn't and make sense when you don't get proper feedback. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Well, I wouldn't be blowing smoke up your backsides. I know. I know. <laughs> if there's one thing that annoys me is you're spending money on paint, and then you try it and it just kind of does not work in the way you want it to. And even if you try and fight it, so so far no fighting. It's just been. Happy painting, yeah. very to use an expression. So I like I like the the, the um, uh, that it's really coming out of the pot. I'm not too too thin. I have so much control with that because it's getting out of the pot so thick. Mm -hmm. so yes, that's yeah. lovely. Yeah, I've definitely noticed there's a couple of points where I've thinned it. I mean, don't not do enough. enough. <laughs> Haven't thinned it enough. <laughs> yeah. How did you like the metals? They're nice. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, try next like time. I'm usually. Um, for the regular like steel, I'm usually using lead belter, which mm -hmm. I've kind of fallen out of love with. I think it's plate mail. That's mm -hmm. that's a good compromise between quite mm -hmm. light and quite dark. Yeah. I'm also a big fan of, of the cobalt blue. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's was it. They One tend to be gimmicky. I think yeah, yeah. the the, the color. But it's not but too it's, bright. Yeah. yeah. If it's on on the black, uh, like on the black base coat, it, it looks like just like a steel. Would this be something you would like to paint with? Yeah. Yeah, no, this is really good. Cool. Yeah, um, again, the finish is maybe not quite as mad as the scale 75. No, it's not. Yes, definitely. but it's, it's definitely flat. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good flat finish. I um, really enjoyed these paints, really. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really used to paint with um, very, very thick paints mm -hmm. um, at home, most of artist paints. And I really say um, there's not, not a big difference at all to really high, super high end quality um, premium artist artistic paints, so they're really doing super well with that. I really enjoyed um, mixing, also freely mixing them. I had a, in the beginning I had a, um, a little bit of weight, uh, getting into it, like when I, when I was using my wet and wet technique on it, uh, I, yeah. the brighter colors got, got swallowed by the darker ones because yeah. of the high pigmentation, but um, it was easy to solve by just waiting a little bit and then going on top of it again, even when it was still wet. So this is the retarder time, retarding time is really, really nice. Oh, that's good I feel very comfortable with them. Yeah. Um, the only down thing I would say was the white at the moment. Yeah. So I could yep. imagine the white could um, have some more pigmentation power. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm really impressed. Uh, it's really plus the fact I've discovered the yellow that actually works. So winner all around generally, uh, as well as marine mist and that one. Three of my new favorite paints. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's been good. It's been good. Cool. Thank you so much. Appreciate the time. All four of you, oh, thank you. I really appreciate, appreciate it. You. We appreciate it a lot. The response was uh, <laughs> was quite good. Um, actually, it was it, it was better than I had hoped for. It was crazy to see what these guys can paint in just an hour or so. It just goes to show what these people actually can do. And I think it was pretty awesome that I actually got five medals at the show to bring home.
Luca Agostini, Thomas Coltò, Ugo Giberti, Antonio Garzia Crespo, Davide Rapazzini e lo... Um, I know that the waiting time is hard uh, for people wanting to try these paints. It actually is the same for me, even though I already have the paints. But I really look forward to you guys trying the Warpaints Fanatic range. I really look forward to it.